Tesla just dropped something that has everyone in the robotics world doing a double take. No cinematic buildup needed here. Let's cut straight to the point. Optimus danced. Yes, Tesla's humanoid robot just showed off actual dance moves in a video Elon Musk shared on Twitter. And not just stiff, robotic gestures. These were surprisingly smooth, coordinated, and, dare we say, human-like movements. Welcome back, guys. Alfie here, bringing you another mind-blowing update. Tesla Optimus just showed off actual dance moves. And it's the most human thing we've seen yet. You're watching the AI Nexus. And as always, we're here to bring you every step of the future. Let's go. Now that might sound like a fun gimmick, a robot doing the moonwalk or grooving to a beat, but this goes way beyond entertainment. What we just witnessed is a massive leap in how robots perceive, learn, and mimic human motion. And here's where it gets even more interesting. When Elon posted the video, the caption was simple, but the implications were huge. In the clip, Optimus, Tesla's humanoid robot, is seen performing a sequence of dance steps that includes footwork with precise timing, rhythmic torso movement, and even a subtle swagger. It wasn't jerky. It wasn't awkward. It looked natural. This wasn't some pre-programmed routine slapped together for a marketing stunt. This was the product of a deep AI training regimen that took place entirely in simulation. Yes, all of it was learned without touching the real world until it was ready. That's reinforcement learning in action. And let's talk about that for a second. According to the Tesla AI team, Optimus learned this behavior through sim to real reinforcement learning. In simpler terms, Optimus was placed in a highly realistic simulation where it could try, fail, learn, and retry at superhuman speeds. Once it mastered the dance moves virtually, those skills were transferred to the real world robot. Tesla's team tweeted, more coming shortly. The team has been working very hard in the background, entirely trained in simulation with RL. Many optimizations and fixes have been put in place in our sim to real training code. The cable is there in case of a fall, not actually holding the bot, since this is an early result which will get more stable very quickly. Let's break that down. Entirely trained in simulation with reinforcement learning means that the robot didn't need real-world practice to learn. That saves time, risk, and resources. Optimizations and fixes point to a constant loop of tweaking the training environment to ensure more reliable learning. And the cable? It's a safety precaution. The robot isn't being held up, it's dancing on its own. But just in case it takes a tumble during these early tests, there's backup. This is an important moment because sim to real learning is hard. Movements that work in a simulated environment don't always translate well to the physical world. Tesla overcoming that barrier in such a short time is impressive. Here's where it gets even cooler. One of the biggest giveaways that something is human is how it moves. That slight toe push off when walking, the timing of foot placement, the balance through the hips. These are incredibly complex motor skills. And Tesla nailed one of the hardest ones. Toe-off locomotion. In the dance demo, Optimus shows off this new toe-off feature in its footwork. What does that mean? Rather than clunky, flat-footed steps, Optimus now uses the front of its foot to push off the ground just like a person does. This makes walking, or in this case, dancing, smoother, more energy efficient, and, critically, more human. Most robots move with their whole foot flat on the floor the entire time. That's stable, sure, but it's unnatural and inefficient. Tesla's implementation of toe-off marks a leap toward biomechanical realism. It also means Optimus can eventually walk faster, climb stairs more effectively, and maneuver through dynamic environments with greater ease. So when we say this dance is human-like, we're not exaggerating. It's a direct result of Tesla giving its robot the kind of joint movement and timing humans use without thinking. All right, so Optimus can dance. But what does that really mean for the future? A lot, actually. If a robot can learn to dance in simulation and execute it flawlessly in real life, imagine what else it could master. Folding laundry, loading a dishwasher, helping in factories, even assisting the elderly. Dancing is just a benchmark, 
a test that proves Optimus has the coordination, timing, and balance to move like a person. And that's exactly what a humanoid robot needs to be useful in our world. More than that, dancing is dynamic. It's unpredictable. It's rhythmic and timing sensitive. A robot that can dance can very likely handle a whole spectrum of tasks that require real-time adjustment and fluidity. Elon Musk has said that Optimus might eventually be more important than Tesla's cars. That might sound like hyperbole, but not anymore. This dance demo is a sign that Tesla is rapidly closing the gap between industrial robotics and actual humanoid intelligence. Think about it. The same AI that powers Tesla's full self-driving is being adapted to control a physical body. Combine spatial awareness, object recognition, and decision-making with human-like movement. And you've got a recipe for a truly functional home and workplace assistant. And remember, Tesla is leveraging a data flywheel like no one else. Every iteration of Optimus gets smarter because it builds off simulation data and real-world feedback. If they're already this far along now, imagine what six more months of training could do. Let's talk again about that cable. Some critics might look at it and say, see, it still needs support. But here's the reality. Early stage demos always include safety mechanisms. Boston Dynamics did the same thing when training their Atlas robot. You don't want a million dollar prototype face planting during testing. The cable isn't holding Optimus up. It's just there in case something goes wrong. The movements, the balance, the timing, that's all Optimus. And if this is what it can do now with a cable attached, the untethered version is going to blow people away. Why this demo hit different? We've seen robots dance before. Boston Dynamics made headlines when Atlas and Spot did choreographed performances to Bruno Mars. Those were impressive, no doubt. But Tesla's demo hits differently. Why? Tesla's version wasn't manually choreographed. It was learned. That's a big distinction. The toe-off, the torso movement, the fluidity. It's biomechanically closer to a real person than ever before. And this isn't just a one-off stunt. This is part of a scalable platform that will eventually roll out in homes and businesses. So, yeah. This isn't just a robot busting a move. It's a machine demonstrating that it can learn, adapt, and move like us. That changes the game. What's next for Optimus? The Tesla AI team promised more is on the way. If this is just an early demo, the next few updates could be even more revolutionary. Here's what we expect to see. More complex motions like picking up objects while walking or dancing. Hand articulation for fine motor skills and object manipulation. Autonomous balance recovery, fall down, get back up improved speed and stability for longer tasks, and ultimately a move from demo to deployment. Once Tesla proves these behaviors are consistent, scalable, and safe, we could see Optimus units assisting in factories or warehouses, maybe even in homes by the end of the decade. We're watching history happen in real time. Tesla Optimus dancing isn't just a fun clip to share on social media. It's proof that simulation-trained humanoid robots are crossing into real-world usability. We used to look at science fiction and wonder when robots would walk, move, and act like people. With this demo, Tesla just showed us, that future is already here, and it's dancing. So what do you think? Could Optimus be the first robot to truly live among us? Let me know in the comments. And if you want more updates on humanoid robots from Tesla, Figure, One X, and beyond, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.